Mix and code in what's the skill? Bob kept the jolly ranch so it can remain the juice. It helped me notice real quick someone judging you. Then they put your shoes on, asking what they've been through. But I was gone off that cup, fucking up my YouTube, what it do is your boy J So back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the number one thing you wanna avoid with your locks. And that number one thing is pushback. You feel me? Specifically getting your line and pushback and then eventually messing up the front of your locks because I see it with people all the time. Now, the re we're gonna talk about why this happened and how to avoid this. Now, it's a lot more simpler than you think. Sometimes it can go into genetics and all that. But um, if you want to know a primary reason, especially if you're starting your locks, like as early as the first couple months to even the year, it goes as, um, you know, ready when you get, how many times you get your hair cut and how many times you get your hair retwisted. Really, how pushbacks happen most of the time, personally, in my opinion, is, my bad, y'all, the camera's tilting just a little bit, just a little bit, my bad, y'all. So, um... Why this happens most of the time is because you get a lineup, a haircut specifically a lineup before you get the retwist. And let me explain why. Because when you get a retwist, you feel me? Like when you get a retwist before you get a haircut, you get all the extra hair in the front that you know that you don't know goes into the retwist. Because like um, even though my even though it's been like three weeks in my lineup and you know my protective style is growing a little bit, you know um you can still see that it's locked up, right? So as you see, you see these like, you see how the parts are, right? You feel me? It's important for you to get um, a lineup. And I know, I, I know I haven't had a haircut or, you know, my forehead a little bogus right now. <laughs> Just deal for y'all. But um, you see the parts, holes to, you see the parts, you know, right? And then um, when you get a haircut and say you don't get a retwist, your barber, even the best barbers in the world struggle with this most of the time, if not all the time on how to cut this, you know, while pushing it back because it's like, hold on y'all, let me reset this camera. My bad y'all, I was still alone with the camera. So uh, more was I, yeah, most barbers struggle with that because like I said, when you're getting a haircut, specifically a lineup before you get retwist, your barber could sometimes be cutting off more than what he's supposed to. And it's hard for him to tell because it's like this difference between we have a retwist and we don't have a retwist. When you don't have a retwist, the barber don't know how much of that extra hair goes into your retwist into the parts. Opposed to when you do have a retwist, say if I go get a lineup right now, I'll be straight because my barber sees my lineup where it's supposed to be at and see this extra, you know, trim it down a little bit, but won't push it back. You know, y'all lineup needs to get pushed back when you don't have a retwist. And I'm not saying never get a haircut. You know, even if you don't get a retwist, but don't make it a habit of doing it all the time. I need a lineup. I might need a haircut tomorrow or Tuesday. I mean, tomorrow or Wednesday, because today Monday. But yeah, that's what you have to avoid. You have to avoid that. You know, it's hard to avoid looking like this sometimes, because you know, if things happen, you want to look fresh and stuff, and you want to get a haircut, and you might not have time to get the retwist, and I understand that. But you know, you don't want to make it a habit, because in my opinion, that's how pushback happens most of the time. Because you know, like, if my hair wasn't retwisted right now and the parts weren't showing, my barber most of the time would probably push it back because my hair is retwisted, so he can't tell how much he needs to cut. But you know, that's how pushbacks happen for most of the people. You know, it's, uh, it's as simple as that. There's other reasons that it can happen. I just think that's my number one reason why pushbacks happen. So, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, um, take care of your locks and maintain them. There's a lot of other reasons why your hair can get pushed back, but I think that's the number one reason that nobody talk about, um, because people always debate what you do first, and I always had that question in the beginning of my journey, whether if I should get a retwist first or a haircut first. The recommended thing that I recommend you to do, get a retwist first, then you get a haircut lined up, then you're good. It makes perfect sense, because once you get that retwist, you don't have to worry about your barber cutting off any extra follicles that can go into your retwist, opposed to when you're getting like a, a lineup and stuff. You don't know, your barber don't know how much of that hair actually gets twisted up when you're getting a retwist, you feel me? So it only makes sense to go get a retwist first and then get a lineup. You know, if you want to get a lineup first before you retwist, go ahead. I just don't think it's recommended and I just don't think you should make a habit out of it. But that's the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, comment for more. Peace. Came behind bars before, living lean in that
cut might just cause a leak. I double it, keeping the cold and avoiding peaks. One day my OG woke up and I pulled it down the sink. So I had to roll up that gas and it really stank.